Um, SDJ prices are pretty good at the moment and I kind of guess they probably would get one. Um, I'm delighted they're getting an SDJ. Now what spec they're going to get is interesting. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Shane and welcome here to another episode of 5 Star Cars, the car channel where I just give my thoughts and opinions on what's going on in the supercar community on YouTube. So if you like this kind of stuff, do smash the subscribe button guys, the bigger we get, closer we get to getting a project car and I can show you how I modify cars here in Ireland. Um, unfortunately I wish I could vlog some supercars but there isn't any supercars where I live so that's why I do this kind of stuff. But uh, I do have one or two vlogs planned for next month in December, uh, so keep uh, you know keep an ear out. So I will announce it when I'm going to go do it. Uh, also, guys, if I noticed the Lamborghini LED sign has fallen down. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, I usually have a Lamborghini LED sign up there. Um, <clears throat> it just won't stay up, no matter all the sticky tape I put on it and for some weird reason every time I've been putting it back up it keeps falling down at like 4 or 3 a.m. in the morning and waking me up so I'm not putting it back up there anymore uh, I'm gonna be moving house in the next two three weeks so when I move house I'm gonna set up a new kind of a new I have new ideas for more background stuff basically anyway so um, yeah the, I will be giving away the Lamborghini LED sign when we hit 2,000 subscribers as well so it's been for a chance to win just gotta hit the subscribe button guys and thanks to all the new subscribers on the channel as well guys it means the world to me thanks a million you like this stuff and do comment below i want to hear your comments below about what we've been talking about today so today's episode we're going to be covering mondi shmi dd and a few others we're just going to jump straight into it as well straight off the bat so the news basically coming out of dd's recent video is they want to get a new v12 and i did call it quite a while back when they sold the p1 and he does want to get an sdj um, SDJ prices are pretty good at the moment and I kind of guess they probably would get one. Um, I'm delighted they're getting an SDJ. Now what spec they're going to get is interesting. Um, I don't know, like, for me really, for DD getting a spec, what colour com combo would I go? There's only two colour combos I would go and they'll come up here on the screen. First one is purple with gold wheels. Um, that would be an unbelievable spec. That's probably one of my favorite specs. And the next one's coming up is probably my favorite. It's kind of like a satin avalanche gray. Uh, if, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It lowers the stance and it. it's just gorgeous looking. Uh, that would be the two specs I'd go for for DD if they were uh, going for looking for a spec for an SVJ. And hopefully, they will go to Gintani. Well, obviously they can't, the board being closed, but eventually if they could go to Gintani and get that tune done or the exhaust system done, that Savage Garage got done, that would be pretty sweet. But then, you know, after all the copying back and forth on Instagram about the Aperta thing, I don't know if that's going to happen because then they'll be said that uh, they copied Savage Garage. So uh, let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think about them getting an SVJ. Did you want to get something else or what spec SVJ would you pick for DD or what one do you think they should get? Next on the list, guys, is Mandy. Mandy's been back posting on YouTube, thank God. As we all know, he's got he's building a hype car with Houston. He's doing a lot of business opportunities at the moment, so he doesn't post that much, but he had to go away and get a new uh, car for a track day and he went away and spent two hundred thousand uh, dollars just for <laughs> to buy a car for a track day and my god what uh, two hundred thousand dollars well spent in my opinion a uh, beautiful beautiful um mercedes uh gt or gtr pro uh, it's so nice i mean i wish i had two hundred dollars to splash in a, a gtr pro they are really quick as well um, I really do like them. I, I just there's something about the GTs that I just really love, and the, just the normal GTs now have come down so much in price. There's like for a supercar, they're well worth the money. And um, I've always said if I was ever getting an R8 for this channel and it got big enough to get another supercar after that, it'd probably be a Gallardo or a, a G, uh, AMG GT. So. Um, it's a beautiful spec. I, they don't sound unbelievable, but they're not too bad sounding as by this clip. And there you go, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Should he got something else for 200,000? Are you glad he got the AMG GTR Pro? 
Um, I really, I just love the shape of them. I don't think they sound unbelievable. Maybe with a tune and a few, um, a few exhaust mods, it might sound a lot better. But I really do love that car, and so glad he got it. Uh, what else could he got for two hundred thousand? I don't know. He he definitely wouldn't have probably gotten a McLaren anyway. So um, I just want to hear your opinions and thoughts in the comments below about Monday getting this car and uh, what you think of it as well. Uh, next on the list, guys, we are going to be covering uh, who do we cover? Shmi one fifty. So Shmi one fifty's video. He literally just brought it out. I'd say around an hour ago, and he's covering. Uh, the BMW 1 Series, so this BMW 1 Series, the, the brand new one, it's uh, the version is an LWM 135i, so a bit of a mouthful, but this particular version, I, they, the new BMW 1 Series, I do like it, but this version, the, it's a more track uh, focused version, low profile tires, e-box springs, uh, 20 inch alloys, uh, carbon fiber bits around it. I love the color on this car. I really like the wheels as well. Like, I don't like four door hot, hot hatches, but my God, if I had the money, uh, this would seriously be on my list to buy. Uh, it was a really good review by Shmi as always. It sounds really nice. I can get in, if you ever look at the car from the side, it does look like a bit like the AMG, um, the, the Mercedes AMG 45s, just a small bit because it's a hot hatch, they kind of look like a similar shape. But if you ask me would I, get, would I go for an AMG 45 or this BMW 1 series, um, I would go for this BMW 1 series. I really do like it. Um, I think they're 330 horsepower, uh, up 30 horsepower from the standard uh, one. Uh, what else uh, did he say? I can't remember. The, I didn't couldn't find the price for it anywhere online, so I don't know how much they cost. If anybody knows, comment below. Um, but I just want to hear your thoughts and opinions of what you think of the car below. Would you get one? Um, and honestly, check out his review, guys. Link in the description below. Great view. I really like the car. Definitely something I would consider. And I don't even like hot hatches and four door cars. Um, but I would definitely consider buying this one. It looks mean as hell and just sounds great and just looks awesome. So great review by Shmi as always. You know, it's just it's Shmi, sure what do you expect? Uh, next on this guys is EOT, a new uh, channel I have found my just when I was browsing. Never came across these guys before and I stumbled across their latest video, which is uh, this guy basically is a JDM nutcase. He has so many JDM cars with, with his friend. He, I think he has like, uh, probably around 12 or 15 JDM cars. He modifies them to a very high standard. Uh, his latest 180X that he has done is absolutely shit crazy beautiful. I really like it. I, I love my JDM cars as well, but I mean, it's very hard in my eyes to pull off a good 180SX by giving it a body kit and wheels and stuff like that. This one came out beautiful. I love the color choice with the glass back and the kind of gold. Uh, the chrome, um, I think they're Workmeister's wheels. Uh, with flared arches is beautiful it's just the stance of it it looks like a proper clean drift car and um, not too good in the interior i'm a luxury interior guy i like my leather and my, my sub it'll kind of everything has to flow not into these drift steering wheels and the uh the those <laughs> gear sticks i don't like them but uh, that's what he has inside his car but go if you haven't seen his channel guys go check it out if you're into, into your jdm cars i really like the way this spec came out i was pretty impressed by it um i must check out more of his uh his videos and cover him more as he goes on because i did subscribe to his channel um but if he's doing if he's pulling cars like they, like this and modifying them like this i can't imagine what other cars that he, he already said he has another five six cars coming in that he's going to be modifying so i'm very interested to see what these other ones come out like and i really just it's a cool channel uh, so go check it out guys uh, again link in the description below Last but not least on the list, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, I cover these guys quite a bit when I can, is Wheeler Builders. They are the Russian version of Bees for Build. They are, these guys will start from just a tube frame and build a replica from the ground up. These guys build some awesome, awesome replicas. And this particular video that they did was a, a guy they knew, I'm presuming a friend, because they didn't explain at the start what was going on. But it looks like it's a guy they know. He started this Ferrari 458 replica build, got stuck, um, and had to give it to Wheeler Builders to fill it, finish it off and get the body work done for him. And I must say, guys, it's it's pretty sweet. Um, they really do put in great, great work to what they do. They do have a voiceover, and um, you, you'll get through it, you can still understand what's going on. 
Um, but the work these five guys put in is second to none. I mean, it's an awesome channel. I love covering them. And I found out in the comments below, they actually do do orders for replicas. I never knew that. So if you're in, if you're looking for a replica, maybe you should get onto them and, and see. I don't know how much it costs for a replica 458. They do, um, they do any of the supercars you want. They're currently doing an SDJ replica at the moment. They've done a Gallardo. Uh, they obviously can do a 458. Um, you know, there's a lot of replicas they can do. They can do the Eleanor replica as well. I was curious how much they would charge for a replica. Give me a guess in your comments below. They're in Russia in St. Petersburg, I think, but I, I really don't know how much they charge for a replica. Maybe fifty thousand dollars. That's just a wild guess. I mean, look, if you can get a replica SDJ and it comes for fifty thousand dollars and it's very damn close to what it looks like, you it's hard to say no. Like, you know, and it, look. Check out their channel, so let me know in the comments below what you think and yeah, that is basically, you know, as I said, well worth, well worth viewing and seeing their craftsmanship because they are pretty good at what they do and I can't wait to finish the SVJ build to see what it's like. So guys, that is everything for today. Thank you very much if you watched to the end, if you're a new uh, person to the channel, do hit that subscribe button, give us a like and definitely comment below, oh, check out my other videos as well. So. Hope you kind of like this stuff. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode. So stay safe wherever you are in the world. Peace out and keep it lit.